food security means very different things to different people. Whether you're talking about different countries or the private sector, um, there's quite a wide range of issues and it hits people in different ways. As we try and produce more food, as we try and have more sophisticated supply chains and move it around the world, and as we try and keep prices low, there is a bit of a risk that some of the, the safety angles, the food fraud issues, the nutrition angles fall down on people's agenda. So we've got to make sure that there's a right balance between those different dimensions. Singapore is very lucky. We're a rich country, so we can generally afford uh, the food. Um, we're actually a great trading hub here, but actually from a food production, we're a small island and it's quite tough to make the food here. Um, so we actually import about 90% of our food. Comparing that to the likes of Indonesia or Myanmar, they're in a completely different position. They probably could produce enough to export as well as feed their own, um, their own people. But in terms of the affordability issues, um, and actually the supply chains within the country, that's where they have a lot more of the challenges. It's essential that we move this food around and keep the borders open and keep regulation. And there's a big focus on non-tariff barriers of making those as transparent and as simple and as common as possible. So there's a lot more we could do from a Southeast Asia, Asia perspective of facilitating that. And that would make our food security overall much easier to achieve if we just made our lives a little bit easier from a trade perspective. Thank you.